Huge congratulations on your graduation. I just want to tell you that you're living at a time of great opportunity. We think we have a terrible conflict in front of us with the virus, but actually the opportunity for human existence and human life and human well-being has never been greater. And you, for example, if you've been doing science or medicine, you now have a unique contribution to be able to make. Because, of course, it's only at times like this when science and medicine flourish at their very best. And that's certainly happening at the moment with development of new vaccines, of antivirals, and all sorts of other ways of making a diagnosis of this appalling illness, which we will eventually conquer and we will make the world a better pace. And I think human affairs will be improved. If you're in humanities, that's obviously true, because, of course, this is when we start to value those things which get closest to our heart and to our mind. So let me just say congratulations at a very, very important time and contribute to the future and the well-being of the world as you go to work. The second thing I want to say to you is this. Don't be frightened of failure. We're all terrified of failure, but we all fail. And unless you fail, you can't succeed. I've done, it sounds like a boast, about 300 experiments, but each one of those experiments which I've published in peer-reviewed journals has actually effectively been a failure. It's only publishable after you've failed and failed and worked out why it succeeds. And then, of course, you actually have an impact. And as a result of that, the second thing I want to say to you is this, that, of course, you learn. You learn by failure, but you need to keep learning the whole time. As I say, I'm now really 80, which is old. But actually, I think that one is useful as long as one keeps learning. Once you stop learning, then I think you're of no use to anybody. And the last thing I want to say to you is this, that we think that we need to be intelligent and we have to be very able to succeed. Actually, that's not nearly as important as another aspect of our humanity. And that is our ability to collaborate, cooperate, get on with other people and to use our emotional intelligence. To my mind, that's very, very important. In my laboratory, for example, I was far from the best scientist, even though I was the scientific leader. But it was that family gathering that we had every week which was so productive. And I think that's true in virtually every walk of life. Of course, there are geniuses like Beethoven who work on their own, but they are exceptionally rare. Most of us, in fact, flourish when we're surrounded by people with whom we get on. So find people that you like, collaborate with them, and remember to respect other people's opinions, and you will certainly succeed in life.